Uh, Stay Safe uh, is a collection of 12 songs that were written during the spring and summer of COVID. And they were written with over 100 kids all over the city of Columbus. Uh, now we need power. Now we need power. You know how this game go. Trying to make it go right. Trying to make uh, it go right. Like we playing Fortnite. Like we playin Wave Fortnite. is a social emotional learning program, um, but we have a musical output. So the whole point of our workshops are this conversation that happens with the people in the group, and then they collaborate with creative professionals, music producers, videographers, visual artists to create a radio quality song a music video, and a piece of artwork out of those conversations. How's everybody doing today? A big part of our workshops was uh, the kids would go to a recording studio and get to see their song recorded by the musicians and to get to really like hands-on produce the song in the studio. We tried a Zoom workshop where we had three students and it went really well. So we were like, okay, this is, this is possible. We can have like recording sessions where the producer and the musicians are each in their home studios and they're Zooming with the kids and it still feels like a, you know, authentic uh, learning experience. What would you tell someone who is feeling down to help them feel better? We'll start off by talking about what kind of music we like and that's kind of the, the common ground. And then we'll move into a conversation about a theme. What do we want our song to be about. We've got so much. We've got cops, we've got COVID-19, we've got Black Lives Matter, we've got bullying, we've got change, we've got authority. And I feel like that's too much to put all of that in the song. I feel like we should narrow it down. The producers, especially uh, Cassius Keys, just did an amazing job of kind of like helping them think through that and process uh, what they were feeling and turned it into just some really powerful songs. How I kind of do it is uh, we listen to their favorite songs and then it'll be like, what do you like about that song? Well, I like that, you know, their story, their storytelling. I like that he's talking about his life and I'm like, oh yeah, so you can relate to that. Yeah, you know, he goes through some of the same things I'm going through. Word, what kind of things are you going through? And then before you know it, they're spilling out their whole soul. They don't even realize what's going on, but we are now in therapy. <laughs> and it's like, it's beautiful. It's beautiful at that point because it just becomes them, right? Like it's. It's hard to get a raw voice from a child, if that makes sense. So it's beautiful when you can get them to actually speak on it. And it just takes bringing their walls down. And the easiest way to do that is with music. It doesn't matter how old you are, this, this moment has done the same thing to everyone. And those aren't just the questions that adults are wondering. Kids are having those same questions and they're trying to process them in the same way. So um, I, I thought there was just a lot of wisdom in the songs that, that is really worth listening to. Facing my problems will run away. Brown skin girl, I hope you know your beauty. And that you love truly. Black boy, I hope you know that you can fly. Your limits don't ever stop at the sky. I'm 14 and I go to Wedgwood Middle School. Um, this um, quarantine, we did We Are Warriors. We are warriors. Can you see, can you believe everything we're up against? The weight we bear, armor we wear in our own defense. Some of the ideas were to make it evolve around what's going on in the community and about how people treat us kids. They underestimate us. So I wanted to put some of those ideas into the song. And so we had the lyrics and we made a beat and it was like that. I thought some of these songs just were really profound and the things that the kids had to say. The interesting thing, and I think one of the biggest takeaways is the fact that they are way more intelligent than we think. They're seeing the protests. They're seeing the racism. They're seeing unarmed black people getting killed every day. And they're internalizing this information. So Stay Safe is a peek into that. And hopefully with the continuation of this emotional releasing process, we can further the next generation. Put out the fire.